in the bottles. Oh, they're kind of here. Oh, down. I see. Okay, I'm stowed. Remind me to come back around this way. <laughs> I guess I can go over it, but it doesn't matter. Can't go under it. Can't go through it. See anything in there? I see a lot of dust on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks like there's... It definitely looks like there's stuff in the... Come down the of five sure meters. It looks like it. Yeah. yeah. Coming down five meters. It's such, such a... Lynette, and then can you, are you able to ping the um, beacons that we deployed on that first sediment trap? Or would I need to, I need to give you a number, don't I? We deployed one, like the very first one? Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, I need a number. Yeah, I, um, do you know that this year's sediment trap has a beacon on it? Do you know what number that is, um, Ilriki? The one we meters. deployed in this expedition yes, or in this expedition at this site. Yes, I can find it out. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be sweet, thank you. Okay. okay. Um, that looks good. We can just follow this down to the to the base. Okay. I'll come down. Coming down. We deployed three sediment traps, one at South Eggshell Valley, another one at West Ridge Crest, and a third one at MEF. You probably yeah. want the MEF one. Yeah, that one. That yeah. will be 11008. Are these pull pins or cut, cut lines? So what we're looking at here is this is a it's got two weights, so it looks like we didn't move it, and they will be cut lines. But let's just get a... Um, can we? Can, can you look up at the camera just to the top? Oh, that's yourself. Okay. Hmm. The chain is for pulling. Okay, so first... Yeah, that's, that's a thinker. Yeah, once we're ready, I guess we can just cut above the shackle. <coughs> Cut above the shackle. Up, up here, yeah. Yeah. Let okay. me get a knife, get knife in my knife hand. Ready, yeah. Yep. I'll I gotta swing the other arm out of the way. Shoulder left. Put it right back. Yep. So just once you're ready, just stand by with that knife. We yep. still have to clear it with the bridge and all that. No problem. I'm just going to get it in my hand and uh, arm the robot. And uh, Ulrike, what was that beacon number for the other one? Kay. Yes, that's what I wanted. One sec. Um, so I think this is the I, the ID number one one zero zero eight is the ID for the sediment trap, not so. the beacon. It's yeah, okay. The beacon should be a four digit number. Okay. Is it two four zero nine? Um, so two four zero nine is the one that we just clipped onto this sediment trap. Then I can't help. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, 
Uh, my only other guess is 3009, um, but I'm not getting any sort of pings from that. Are you? It might be that it's, I don't know how it works, but it might be that it's way out of your screen, like 250 meters. I Fair always up. think of Futurama, like, I like to stab it. <laughs> Let me stab him. Yeah, no, I'm just not getting any range to it at all. Okay. Okay, well, uh, I think we could push in. When, uh, when, the, when the ship is ready, we're ready to recover this one, though. Unless you want to use that to kind of push up against the bottom lines. I think we just fly up to it. Yeah. Keep it out as a reference. Yeah. If Dan comes in and says, give it to me, I'm going to be like, my rope. So folks are wondering how long it'll take for this sediment trap to pop up. We actually took bets for the last time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what the numbers were though. Was it? I think it was about half an hour, but this one's even further down. So yeah, yeah. Sorry, I can. I'll, I act, I'm gonna leave SPL and go start collecting bets for this one. <laughs> Collect the bets. So angry. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge now. Deck control. Okay, ready when you are. Yeah, I'm gonna start inching closer. Permission to sever the line. Yeah, you don't, you definitely want to cut it above the pairing. Otherwise, we might bring some chain up with us. <laughs> if you go up, like, at least half a meter, you won't have to cut through the splice. I yeah. would, I would uh, consider grabbing the line with the magnum. Yeah, okay. And cut right above the magnum. I'll bring the magnum out. Um, if we grab the line with the magnum <coughs> and then cut above where the magnum's holding it, um, it, it'll be less of a rodeo. You have a better chance of severing the line. Otherwise, the line will sing around and you'll wind up <laughs> breaking or dropping the knife and be all over the place. You have more control if you have a hold of it. So you want to get the magnum in close to where you got the tip of the craft right now. I'm going to take bubble cam. Yep. Just want to make sure to cut the right side of the magnum. <laughs> and it slipped through. You couldn't actually cut the bottom side. And <laughs> I'll just slip through. Yeah, we could fly that trap. <laughs> I've flown if you two of them rotate, before. I'll lock jaw when we get inside. If you want to fly it into it, you can use bubble cam as a reference. Oh. Oh. There you go. Close. <coughs> so he's like some stuff growing on there too. Okay. If you cut it below, actually, you won't 
have a chance of getting fouled in the um, in the um, you know around the knife and the okay the so crap. cut below the magnet it's, it, it's up to you it would have several hundred pounds of buoyancy yeah. up just so you're aware <laughs> you want to yeah, cut above the magnet <laughs> You want to make sure that the uh, instruments above the ROV and the line is not going to get fouled as it goes by, so you can uh, look out a bit or put the magnum out a little bit further away from the vehicle. Okay. Okay. I will push down on the shoulder. Push the rope right into my knife. Let me move my knife. Yeah, if you're wrist up there, that might be. I can't tell how far it is away. How long is that rope? Uh, 20 meters, but there's a shackle and a pairing halfway through it. Yeah. So all the jewelry's well above us? Should be. I mean, we can look up if we want. But yeah, maybe. we won't be able to see. Okay. It'll just be able to. See how far it, away it is away from the bumper, which you can see with bubble cam there. Clear to uh, cut the line? From science perspective, maybe, sure. Depends maybe, on uh, yeah, cut it, see what happens. Okay, <laughs> fine by me. Permission to slice the line. Right down close to the magnum jaw, Danny. Yep. Uh, just keep a little tension and saw through instead of one long stroke like that you'll break the knife. There you go. Is that a serrated knife or is it that is, a... Yeah, it's an Ikea steak knife. <coughs> Not a sponsor. Definitely not a sponsor. The closer to the jaws on the Magnum, the better. Okay. Me... You can see why now. It's looking promising. Oh, yep. Beautifully done. That was pretty benign. Deck control. I can uh, put, the knife, put the knife back instrument on the... Instrument is free. We're tracking it to the surface. The instrument is free. Uh, can we zoom out Bridge on the cam? Nav. A little back, back. Yeah, we can back. <coughs> instrument is free, and we're tracking it to the surface. Thank you. It's a good magnum position to stow your knife. Uh, I think or you I can need just to swing it out a little more. You can just put it in the box if you want. Maybe we'll just put it in the box, Danny. Okay. Hard to get back on the magnet. I'm going to drop the line, or should I hold on to it? You can let go. Jake might need to run away if they want to move yeah, the boat. Jake. Jaws opening. There it goes. Jaws closing. Elbow hey. down. They are probably going to want to move the boat, so we get under Atalanta where they can, uh, they can go any which way they please. I think I can put that knife back on this on this magnet, but do we need a knife again on this uh, dive? We probably will, but <coughs> you know how it goes. Yeah. I I would prefer you just put it in the box. Okay, I'll put it in a box. Let me just get out underneath. Yep, no problem. I'm just going to stow the magnum. It's pretty close to the uh, hydraulic lines there. So. Just don't... Uh, trip any of the gas tights while you're doing it. That'll be fine. Yes, I will let you know. Yep. 
there was a good few years where we had some real bad luck with gas tights and accidental triggers. Yeah. I've inadvertently triggered a few of them, especially right there when you hit them with the shoulder of the manipulator. <laughs> All right. Two, three out. So far, we're running a pretty good, pretty good track record on this cruise. I think by the end we would have taken eight gas states. Hmm. No fails. You don't know until you process the sample, right? Oh, but yeah, no accidental triggers and no hmm. triggers outside of the vents. That's kind of the. The one isobaric didn't work, <coughs> but I don't think that was our fault. Bombs away. Tools ran. Rack it out. Tracking it on the nav screen, then it. Uh, this is not in the nav screen, no. What are you tracking it on? It's on iPad. Is it the one to the right there? Is the blue one or the red one? Or the green one? I think it's the green one. Blue. Blue. Okay, so it's kind of, it's kind of... Oh, the one way out to the port. Mm. Looks like it's heading a little bit to the to the west. Is that one? Yep. Okay. <coughs> and do they sure. launch the boat to they get in? So yeah, they're, they're going to launch the boat, yeah. Oh, so we don't have to worry about where we are? We can go carry on with our... I can, I can go confirm. That was the plan, but I... Roger. Wrap out. What beacons am I looking at on high pack, Lynette? There's a green one. There's like three beacons just by the ship there. Are you on SPL on that? She must not be. Who are you talking to? Oh, I was talking to you. All right, what's your question? There's like three beacons there on what am I looking at there? Yeah, so uh, the green line that is connected to the square that's jumping around, that's yeah. Atalanta. Oh, yeah. Um, this one, can you see my cursor? Yep. Uh, that is HERC DVL, and this is HERC, oh, Herc USBL. USBL. okay. <coughs> Do you want to deal with this ROV travel while we got time sitting around here? Yeah, might as well. <coughs> I 
do we do with this? Pick it up by the float. It looks like a disconnected gas plate. There's no pig on it. No, it's a bar. Bars. bars. It's but popping it. the stem off, and the bars are stuck in the wall. Yeah. In the I would reach out there and grab it with the craft, and then just dangle it over the basket some way. Let me know when you're free. I don't think I can hurt it. Free. I can grab it there and then use bubble cam to dangle it in the basket. No, that didn't do anything. Well, that's good, Danny. Just hold it. You're going to yep. let Jake uh, you can move it out a little further so he can see it in bubble cam. And dangle it in the basket somewhere. Okay, Jake. So we're just going to put it in the tool basket? Yeah. Okay. Maybe put it over by a beaner or something if he wants to secure it later. <coughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. Some extra straps over there in the right. I don't know. Roger. Let me know when. Well, I'm going to lay it down, I think. You want to actually fly it down and yeah. see if you can secure that float somehow? Gotcha. Well, yeah. We don't want that sticking up because we're going to make a crane hook here. Oh. Not there. In the corner somewhere, it's flying off to the yeah. edge. Yeah, right there will do. I'm going to get the magnum out and hold on to it, lower uh -huh. it down. Wait till we come down and have a look. I might be able to wrap it around that uh, hockey puck. Yeah, tangle it up around the hockey puck there will work. All right. Well, that's good as any, huh? Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Can build the reach. What hockey puck are you going for? I think going for the one. Which one are you thinking of? The Gladius down there. One underneath the manipulator. That one? Sure. Oh, it. Careful. Yep. Okay. Freeze there for a second. Freeze. I'm just going to tie it around that rope. Let me just All right. There you go. I'm at full stretch. You could probably just tighten a knot as long as it's not floating up above the basket. That's what I was trying to do, but not much I can. I'm at full reach. Come back a little bit. I'll, I'll bring my heading around. I'm 
might be to shove it through that vital. Yeah, you could try that. Okay, you good I don't to know. I don't think you'll be able to do it unless you get the magnum on it. <coughs> you can shove it under the buoy bridles. Oh. Get caught up in that stuff. Let it go there, see what happens. Okay, grab there. Maybe you can hook that around the grate. Don't pull the float back through. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I don't Let know. me just grab this with the Magnum, and then I can I mean, just cut that thing loose. How do we want to do this? So there is that strap right there with the purple hockey puck on it. I just don't know how we're going to get this guy on there. I could break that float off of that line. It looks like it's only held on with a zip tie. You see that? Which one? Is it, look, is it, stop moving the magnum. See how there's a black zip tie holding that float on? You tried to break the float, yeah. Because that would eliminate the need. The float would just pop to the surface, though. Dan, is that an option? He's busy talking to um, back row. There's two tie wraps. You're just going to slide it along the whole thing. <laughs> I'll slide it right off the end of it. <laughs> Got one off. One second. What's the, what are you going to do with the float once it's off? Well. That's what we're trying to get your opinion on. We um, can just free it. And then you won't have to worry about it. No, I th we kind of want to keep it. I'm just wondering, is, let me think about a way to secure that without it being in the way. Um, uh, what can we do? Well, there's, um, there's this, see the, see this guy here? Yeah. That one's on a cinch strap. I don't think you'll be able to use it. You're not going to get the tension you want. Is there anything we can do? 
I was gonna try to do is stick that through the bridle on the uh, old, on the old instrument platform right there, and try to get it stuck stuck underneath the uh, bridle. Yeah. Um. But in the water column, it's coming up. It might jump out of there. Yeah. I wonder if we set it. That the purple one's quite a long. No, we're not gonna be able to use that. Shoot. Um, is there a hole? There's no. Is there any holes in that uh, piece of foam? Not anything bigger than a zip tie. No. Uh, what can we do with that thing? Sacrifice it to the Neptune gods. That's what I was in the process of doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> we can, if we stick the wand, I wonder if we can close the tailgate on it. You could probably uh, get the, so we thought in trapping the uh, thing we're holding in the magnum, like if you grab the end of it, maybe you stick it through one of the bungees and then pull it. Like through yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. bridles or one of the bungees or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That'd be good. Yeah. Let me try that. Try that. <clears throat> yeah, because that you can really can't hurt. <laughs> if you can't tie a knot, Danny, tie a lot. That's my line. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever tied a knot using a uh, 7P manipulator, though. It's going to be a fun evolution. Watch the gas tanks. You get a little close there. You tend to bring the arm in and then have the jaw off to the right where you can't see it. Yeah, other way. More better. I was watching Danny Cam too. We do not have Danny Cam back here. Well, if that'll stay there, then you can. Grab the other side, but it may not stay. You might want to grab the other I'm side with a the magnum before you let go. Uh. Oh, he gets lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble. Oh, that works. Beautiful. That worked. Okay. Swing right. You're into the porch and the gas station. There you go. That's a little clearance, Clarence. It's looking on the way to a knot. I can get it back around and through. I can let go of the magnum <laughs> and then you can pull it more through. Here. Oh, you have it locked on your screen, so you're going to have to unlock the magnum? No, I want. I like Jake's idea, Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you can just pull it all the way through that. Right, I'll get the float all the way down there. And we're done. Okay. <clears throat> so, let go of the magnum or no? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Danny Cam just like flipped out. You want a power cycle on it? Oh, yeah, sure. Cameras, cameras, cameras. You sure you didn't inadvertently switch it? Turn back on. I don't I know what just happened. Yeah, I see it in front of Jake. No, it's there, but it's oh. like just went horrible and then did that. I thought we we're just gonna pull it through there. Yeah. Oh. Not sure what you're doing. Just pull it through. Pull yeah. it through. Get that float down. 
<coughs> That's good enough. Okay, let it go. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. You happy with that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Until it pops off while we're rigging it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we're sitting right there. Okay. What's uh, um, Dan? What are we going to need to do in terms of positioning and how or far before they put the package in the water? Do we need to kind of do all stop on operations? I'd say once it gets down to some point where we need to move the boat uh, to position the package. Okay. So until then, you know, happy to. Um, we don't want to do any radical moves with the boat with the both wires. Yes. You, well, when you move the boat, you add more risk, right, and then more weight. Okay. But I don't think we need to be like totally in position when they put it over. I guess that's up to. Probably above my pay grade, but. But like, if we because one of the things that we could do because we're pretty much done, pretty except much for it. this the work that's coming up and then some filters and stuff. But we can't do that till we ascend. Right. So. One of the things we want to do is sample Hulk. Like you just had a look of where it is. It's kind of above everything. Um, yeah, it's it would up require to the north. Ship move. How far is that up there? Uh, we're not claiming the camera anymore. Oh, no, because the other there's another task, cleaning the camera lens with the T-Boss, but I don't know if we have access to the T-Boss. Yeah, it's in the starboard box. It's in box. the starboard box. If we can get that, that will be higher priority to you. Yeah. I heard the prior watch had to do some rummaging, so we'll see if it, we can see it in there. Where is the, how far is the camera? The camera is by Grotto, same spot. Oh, the Grotto, grotto camera. Grotto, ca grotto yeah. camera. Yeah, all right. I'm going to uh, trade you out for that one, Danny. See if I can redeem myself from last. That looks pretty full in there. <laughs> I think I see the toilet. I think I see the brush, though. I think the brush was underneath everything. Launching the small boats right now, so I don't. Want me to close the box? We want to move. No, until you that's can. Uh, you can leave it open and start moseying that way. Right. Copy that on it. I think we can actually reach it from here. Grotto is north, correct? Uh, yeah, if you, yeah, look for the late. It's here on your nav screen, all these yeah. green squigglies. All right, heading the right way. You Get, are. I'm getting to know the place. Getting to know the neighborhood. Yep. Twenty twenty-five minutes to the surface. Yeah, it didn't exactly rocket away when it took off. No. Yeah, it must. Yeah, it took its sweet time. I wonder what that's about.
the Dallas faster. I thought that was it there, but that looks like something on a beacon. Are you sure it's in the Yeah, no, I, I see it. I see it, yeah. Underneath everything. Problem is there's a few beacons and weights and... We are sending another one down on the side of this RAS PPS, but yeah, this, is, this would be nice to get this out of the way. All right. Do we get uh, 20045 Lynette? Those guys having fun out there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. Rummaging around in his toy box. Blindly. Blindly, yeah, uh, blindfolded. I can actually see you. I think you got it. I hope I don't get a beacon with it. World's most expensive toilet brush. Feel like you've got something with it. Mangled, <laughs> mangled freaking toilet brush. Alright, you're good. I don't know. Oh, it's looking yeah. promising. <laughs> oh, you're pinched on the on the leash. Yeah, I see it. You're all tangled up. Just do a quick grab. You'll be fine. Got some extra. <laughs> One more loop. <laughs> it's fine, it's not touching anything. Waiting on a boat. Waiting on a boat. 
Well, that camera has gone completely bonkers. Yeah. Does it look like that in your screen too? Yeah, it's, I think the camera died. One of my solder joints. That's a bummer. Oh. Mm, I don't know. Don't think so. Uh, on my phone, maybe. Yeah. Even that, it got cooked a little too much in uh, let's see. one of those hydrothermal vents. Not happy. I doubt that. No, the internet doesn't. Oh, oh yeah, it's working. Yeah. I'm going to play with your lights for a second. Ooh. That's I've cool to you. If the iris was. The abyss. The movie. BBC mode. <laughs> well, that was a Good camera while it lasted, Danny. 24 hours? <laughs> the camera you can see nothing out of is now uh, can't live without camera. Well, we still got a, a Zeus uh, uh, wall that we can stick in there. It might Give us some view. We could trade uh, for the if we the bottle cam. No, I came up with a better place to put the Niskin cam, like on the outside of the vehicle. We got enough other junk hanging on the outside. Yeah. Where I can see down the Niskins and outside the vehicle. And we get that's also a wide angle camera, not as wide as this one, but but I think this one's probably just a loose connection in the camera. Yeah, we'll play around with it when we get on deck. Backlit hydrothermal vent. Yeah, gonna give us a spectacular view while you're waiting there in that two bush. bush. Not. If you I'm hit it, you're too close. Might need to move us, uh, I don't know if that'll end us there yet. We got another 10 meters. That's cool. Where is that still camera? Mm, good question. Uh, we'll get tugged a bit. Yeah, back off. The bridge now. Pardon? I got a few stills, uh, camera images from the from top of the vent, so prob similar to this view when you were checking on the RAS PPS. Oh, nice. Thanks. You could go uh, east if you wanted to, Lena. Also, but we're not over oh, the. There you go. You found it. I'm sorry, Toddy's not over the vent. Yeah, probably better we go east. We could act it's probably 20 east. The wind's kind of blowing the tether into the vent. Go, uh, go back up and look at the top of the vent, Jake. Let's wait for. to get Atlanta to the east there a bit. The breeze today is one to It's gonna go into the north, right? Northeast, which is right in line with Atlanta. So. If you get your uh, <coughs> Z-bias dialed in, you get really close, it'll You'll see it. All the colors come alive. Maybe center up the 
DSC too, won't you? Chimneys in the back there. Where's it go? Oh. The tops of those things are really cool, like a little beehive. Almost see through. I haven't seen any events doing a phase separation on this cruise. What's that? Where they look like they're on fire. So not like the one in the video? What's that? Not like this one we're seeing right now, like it looks more fiery than that. Yeah, they almost look like blue, like they look like your gas stove. Oh. When it's going. I think we yeah. see that as smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Right? I, for cool. I forget what causes the phase separation. Well, I'm betting Steve's going to hear that question and <laughs> jump on that. Let me see. I think it's just a cool, like, Star trek -y term. So I don't know what it means. I just know it looks really cool. It's a good DSC if you guys are clicking away back there. Yeah, I'm They're taking a ton. Away. Even getting some bubbles or something. I don't know what those are. Uh, it's an old ROV, it leaks a little. <laughs> so. <laughs> <clears throat> the crew hasn't been keeping it as tight as they usually do. I've been busy. Beautiful footage, Jake. Just gonna bump your camera one bump up to get rid of the. Oh. Still not enough tether. Mm. Really? Yeah, it hasn't even slid east yet. Or the headlines are so unpredictable. If we uh, perch on this side, we could probably do it. You could perch right there on the grate, Snug yep. snuggled right up next to it. Did y'all deploy a new camera here? Uh, no, it just started working again. Oh, magic. Yeah. Just um, yeah I might asked them to turn it on, and then next thing you know... We actually don't want to land on the grate, or if you do, I'm going to be around some more because we'll knock that connector back into the abyss. I don't know if I have enough uh, scope for that. Yeah, yeah, part of it was um, yet when we were yeah. turning the lights on and off to help for navigation, all of a sudden the camera started working. Hmm. So I think all the platforms should have like an LED you can turn on and off just for... Yeah, it wouldn't be hard to do either. No, it wouldn't. Or lights. Yeah, it would be... Brilliant. You can see him from miles away, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Why not? So it's good to <laughs> He's I mean, getting we might, pictures. We might already mm -hmm. have. I can come down another couple. We have a couple of speckles in the lens. There's a couple barnacles, probably. Or not barnacles, but maybe some limpets or. Well, the same that came on the cable of the mooring. The thing that came on the cable of the mooring. Those are hydrozoans. The filament stuff. The green, we recovered a ton of uh, mooring a couple of days ago, right? RCM. I don't know if Atlanta's moving or not. Hmm. On the same bike run. Oh. I didn't see it. Well, you got enough to do it there? If you can land on that heading, be all right. You'll be able to see the camera, though. That's all right. We can sneak over the back side of it if you get right up close to it. I can. Oh, you're wanting to get around on the other side of it. The you want to be able to see here. the lens, yeah. Do you want to be able to see it? I mean, I could brush it from this side. Um, the, the connection is pretty bad. I can't see, actually. Help. Oh. Yeah, I think it would be n nice to zoom in on the lens itself, see if there's anything on there, and try to wipe it off. Yeah, we'll need another 20-meter vessel move for that. Okay, that's fine. We got some time. You want another 20? What do you think? Zero four five. Uh, sure. Yeah. Might as well go look at cool stuff while you're waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Say less. Bridge nav. Can we move two zero meters, zero four five, please? Thank you. Can we, um, Dan? Sure. So this new mooring that we're going to deploy, we can really put anywhere. Um, this was just a spot because there we have other stuff here. But if we go around the other side, look around the other side of this thing, is that possible or is that kind of risky yeah. for the ROV? No, we can do it. Other side of this tower, this vent? Yeah. May I come to your left there? I think yeah. we'll be all right. Yeah, I think so because our oily would essentially reach anywhere here. Mm -hmm. So if there's like a landing spot with some shimmering water, it might be better to land it somewhere else. Historically there. No. Have you guys seen where the landslide was on the backside of this thing? I haven't. No, I haven't either That's since it caved in. Yeah, the bars used to be on this side where your lasers are pointing right now. Yeah, I remember putting it up there. And then it was just... Is that the one that fell down? Yeah, it used to be kind of this. There used to be like this flat spot here on this side, or some yeah. blooms. There is another tower to your left there. I believe, or there used to be. There's all the old cables that got crunched. So this one on the left is dead now, or is it still active? I don't know about that one. It's I don't I've never looked at that one before. I'm gonna come up a bit more. It's still active. It's a nice little ledge right there. Oh. Uh, down in that hole down there is where the <coughs> this fell off on this side Sorry, here. I'm too high now. What are those? Look at that kind of starry thing, Fabio. Right there. Uh, could be a, s s a spider. With all these pictures, we could probably get a mosaic of uh, Grotto. Definitely from the video, you could. Mm. Gotta get the back side. 
I mean, the distance is not Ooh, constant. Look at that. That was cool. Uh, I lost the plot. Are you on the on the north one now, or you're still on the main one? Pardon, what's up? Oh, never mind. What? Yeah, no, you're good. I oh, the cameras are right there. Yeah, I can see the other one in your tail cam. Yeah. It's lower than this one. So this all fell off down there, that uh -huh. whole side. There, it looks like flames. <laughs> <laughs> It's all dusty back here because of the way the wind's blowing. Yeah. Inferno. Inferno. All right. I'll be back. Come down. Uh, you might should have enough leash to do it now. Yep. Possible to turn the lights off on the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Loft completely? Yeah, they're they'll blind us. Blinding. Kind of. Well, I was thinking the backside, but if you can get the beach to turn them off, that'd be great. Or you have control. You can turn them off. I have control. <laughs> I have control. Ten per seven percent. It should be. You'll have to be right. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that laser will damage the iris or not, but you might want to shut it off. Right, I got it. It looks like we are probably at the surface um, for that sediment trap. Is that an OS pan and tilt? Yeah. Can you get ahead, to uh, stable there in a happy spot? Um. Okay, got it. Thank you. Yeah. I'll see a speck over okay, there. Okay, we are at the surface. Um, I have some information for you um, up on the high pack screen. Hmm? Uh, my you want to uh, my tilt thing up? Is there is a little speckle in there. Let me get Do you have white one stuff. Oh, okay. Might, might be some. No rush. Did you get it? You got it before? Huh? You looked at it? 
Uh, I, I was able to turn the lights off, but I can't see the, the live, see the sub is right in front. Okay, zoom in. But I can't Let's see here, Fabio. have the live feed. There's two speckles, one top, top left of the lens and one uh, on the top right, a little bottom right. right. Serve. The T-ball is more dirty than anything. That's the location, um, <laughs> and there's a timestamp in there too. If you, if you can't, if we don't move the camera, the ideal. You're welcome. Oh, there's <laughs> a little piece got left. Let's so use the motion of the vehicle here to. I think you got it, Dan. Yeah. Well, there's a little. I think that looks that looks better. Looks that shinier, looks I think. Fabio's is uh, able to say. check it for us from uh, from the shore, but it's just super slow. Yeah. Yeah. The live stream is not working, but the controls it looks like. I can I. Yeah. Maybe we can ask. Mitch, Mitch, and um, uh, Rick. Is Mitch on shore? Who's who's in the short sport? He is Mitch and oh yeah, I just had it. Can you ask Mitch? I sent him a message, but I think he didn't get it. Mm. He can. He's connected with the camera ask as Mitch well. To take a selfie of. Uh, yeah. What do you want him to do? To check the live streaming of the camera interface and see if there is. And it's more speckles there on the lens. Yeah, he sent an image here. Are you on the ship to shore channel? Otherwise, I'm on the stakeholder. Then Not you may need one. to come over. He says. Can you blow that image up? So this is after we clean. This is while cleaning. Okay, is so that the current view right now? Yes, while cleaning. There is a slight delay just yeah, watching it being cool. brushed now. Okay, maybe um, lo we're just looking at the lens now and maybe a little more scrubbing would be good. Right. It's actually pretty cool because the RV camera really reflects the, all the stuff on the screen. On the lens. Can you, um Tilt up a little and then zoom in just a little tighter for us. Okay, push in there a little bit. Yeah. That's good, thanks. Alright. I can't imagine it's still dirty after that, but we'll wait for Shore to send us some feedback. Okay, it can go wide, thanks. What? Well, yeah, they're still scrubbing at that point. Yeah, my bad. The picture that we just looked at was before cleaning. After cleaning looks much better. Okay. So okay, we're getting. You can, you that's can great. run away, Jack. Run away. Thanks, Mitch. Is it two different kinds of lights, Fabio? I guess, obviously, yeah. One is the Aquaria, uh, the subsea light. That's also a strobe. Okay. And I think the other one is just the RO, ROS light. Down or a maybe bit. those. Or did you? I got it. Yeah, there are both subsea lights, but one is the strobe. Probably want pictures of this, I thought, yeah. Yeah. I hope you're going to look at these. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Can I turn the lights back on on that camera? Do you need sure. that? Sure. Yeah, we're good now. We're out of there. If wow. you need, I mean, 
do we need those lights on anymore? Uh, yeah, we're going to be working around here. Might as well. Yeah, it's really a nice beacon. I can see him from Atalanta, miles away. And, uh, I'm going to come back up a little bit. Not real thrilled with the way the tether's blowing towards that vent. Roger. But you're, uh, yeah, you want to come back around on your happy heading. I think we're okay, but I can't tell for sure. We're still gonna do these, uh, what were we going to do next? I lost we're the plot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't much of a plot. Um, so one thing we could do is at Hulk, we're going to want to take some gas sites at the end. But we could find a whole remit so we're ready so we could just go over there and take the gas site at the end of the dive since we're just waiting right now. Hulk. Where's Hulk? North. Hulk. North, yeah. Northeast. North from here. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's like north, northeast. North, northeast. Say like 30 degrees from here. Okay. I can come around the left side of the vent there. Well, Steve is also watching, so he will know when we reach Hulk. We'll need a ship move. Right yeah, I don't know if Lynette has a waypoint for Hulk. Um, they're also towing the instrument back to the ship right now, so I don't know if we just want to let them sort that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rather than move the ship. Yeah. yeah. What does Dante look like compared to this one? Is Dante close by or? Yeah, Dante's like right to our right. Can we check out that one? Yeah, we can get there from here. Everyone always talks about getting stuck on Dante, but I've never even seen it. It's, uh, east? oh wait, oh, I gotta look at the map. Yep. Yeah, have the map. It's east. It's yeah, east. it's due east, I think. It's a big tall one there in your sonar. Okay. Oh yeah. Hard to miss. <laughs> I believe that's Dante. Is that right, Steve? It looks like it. I'll wait for Steve to confirm, but... Okay, so I believe this must be Dante. If we're there, this is is this directly east of um, Grotto? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this one's sweet. Yeah, this just keeps on going. This is something. Twenty, 25 meters tall. Whew. We were here uh, last night. We were. Oh, we did a bars? We did our gas tank yeah, here in that little that. teeny hole that we bashed out. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool roof, roof like structure there. Current's blowing the other way today, though. Interesting.
what remains up after the recovery of the trap? Um, we still have to recover the sediment trap and put down the RAS PPS. Put down the RAS, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Aside from that, okay. That's going to be probably like a three hour process, if not more. So we, we the reason we're doing the sediment trap now is because that way we can we we can't recover that one at night. So that's right. And we won't be able to do it after the wire deployment. Wow, look at that thing. Do we have any smoky niskins yet? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the place to do it. I don't no one requested smoky niskins. But this Surprise. would have been cool. So, Maybe in the night, I don't know. More, or we already did last night. Whoa. Smoking these skins are in the dive plan. Oh, that's yes. towards the end, yeah. Look at that thing. Steve's saying this that we're looking at right now is very new. Yeah. Wow. We get to see those little triangle things. Yeah. We get a close shot on one of those. It'd be awesome. Oh, like beehives. Very fragile. Very difficult to get a good shot of. You gonna zoom there, video? Roger that. So there's no two warm survivors there. <laughs> no, they're all cooked to death. Uh. Yeah, it's a balancing act. You get close, it kind of yeah. wants to suck you in, and <laughs> <laughs> then you come on. Like you pull back and see if I can get, get them closer again. That's yeah, a, that's here, let me adjust your uh, sonar range here. This, is this one's very different than the other ones. It's so sharp and spiky. Yeah. I want to be facing into the current. So those are half a meter divisions there, so that's it. Right there. I think. Might not get it in that sonar. Right. So this is Dante. Worth it. Nice to be under a particular plume and downstream, and as you come in, you can kind of let go and you float back. Sideways is also good. It, it, it suck you in so bad. Upstream is bad. <laughs> sonar hit there. We can do a photogrammer day of this. Pardon? We cannot spin around too much, right? No. Yeah, we can walk around up here. Okay, do you want me to keep taking pictures? It's it, The pictures are pretty well, smoky. Or at can the very give Tom some more homework. At the very top, we can walk around it. I think it's tough to focus. It's just all in this heat. So it's more dB more sensitive or less dB more sensitive? Let's forget. Less dB is more sensitive. Is it this thing just spitting out these flakes too? Or is that thrust? 
hard to say. It could be us stirring it up. And then it just rises up. Yeah. This looks like the Lord of the Rings thing for some reason. <laughs> totally. Nope, that blows it out. Yeah, the down lights will light up all the smoke between you and it. Like they got the sediment trap on board. Yeah. Quick zoom there, video. Go to that. Your stills is kind of getting right above it. Yeah. Roger. You can. I. I've rarely been successful holding a still, but I get like a flyby zoom as you're going by or going up. I can never like hold it still to look at it for days. It's always a moving shot, which is makes cool video. <laughs> yeah, man, that's look at those things. This, uh, as animals probably haven't even had a chance to grow on this thing. I think it's yeah. full of critters, isn't it? Is it full of critters? Yeah. Really? Those uh, white things? Uh, no, no, I mean this this new this new top. I don't think so. You don't think so? What's oh. all this white flaky like bacteria? Bacteria. Well, critters come to munch on the bacteria, right? Yeah. Right maybe there when maybe? The, when the Steve's also saying bacteria. When the chemistry is right and the temperature is right, they start growing. Like they start moving in. Moving in, yeah. There's some palm worms yeah, in like there. Those little yeah, palm yeah, those guys resist 250 degrees, so that really? oh, they're they're the first ones, yeah. Huh. 230, 250. Amazing. They live in 150 degrees. 225. Whoa. I've got some more zoom. Extremophiles. Ex zoom. Ex zoom. Zoom. That's how we call them. Yeah. Just watch your still camera. Yep. Your top of it again. Yeah, if it starts raining, you're too close. <laughs> you like touch it with your bumper and bits rain down. The first species they discover in the Atlantic, uh, Alvinella pompeiana, there's a name of Pompeii in tribute to the, to the fires. Look at this on the side, the black smoke coming out of that right oh side yeah. there. Pumping out. Pope warm. You could probably uh, perch your porch in there somewhere and get a zoom of that guy. Just a toe. Here's your palm worms down okay, here. Okay, so Probably sediment up. traps on board, small boats on board. So we can do something else when you are ready. And zoom on the up, up above you there. Want me to do your cam? Oh, you're good. Yeah, zoom on that, that guy. Zoom on there? the little guy, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. check him out. Full zoom. No animals there, though. It's oh, that one looks hot. There's an Alvinella right at the bo at the base. What's that? It's polychaetes at the base there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tilt oh, down a bit. Down. They're not venturing down up there yet. Everybody. Um. Ready to move in. Are hydrothermal vents a common area of specialization in marine sciences? Yeah. Yeah. Um, some uh, some deep sea biologists specialize in this particular. If, if, if we think we have time, environment. Then uh, apparently Lots Hulk is just north of Grotto. It's the next one up. Yeah. Or of Dante. Just north of Dante. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's still going to be like 40 meters or something. Okay. There's a pretty well I don't know how far theory it is. that the life be begun in the ocean. But it's not right next to in it. In these areas of hydrothermal activity. Mm. But this was really cool. Symbiontic relationships. This was. 
awesome. with bacteria <laughs> and metazoan animals. I like when the deck isn't ready. I get to just, you know, I know, <laughs> hey, pop around. Man. Some Explore. of the best stuff has been uh, waiting on. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'll have to tell Mike, that, Mike to stall some anonymous. more or something. <laughs> I don't they think we're waiting on Mike. Oh, no, they're working. Some people yeah, do. Yeah, we can. We can uh, Some people do. You want to thread the needle on that there and go. Uh, so um, I have a North target 015. for Hulk okay. 125 meters to the northeast. That sounds. From Dante. That sounds right. It's far. It's further than like 40, but it's not close, yeah. So 100 meter move. What's that? We're going to take a point three. I should know that. Should be easy mm -hmm. math. Half an hour? No. If it's that far, I don't think we, I don't think we have the time. Maybe we should just sit, keep poking around here then. Because all we were going to do is go ream a hole, and then we have to go back up there again after. Yeah, if it's that far. Uh, 100 meters at point three of a knot. What's well, point three? That's all. That's like five meters. Uh, that's like that's 15 like meters a minute. Nine meters a minute. Nine meters along. I round up. Is it nine meters a minute? Oh yeah, ten meters a minute. Sorry, point three is ten meters a minute. One side of the deck to the, to the other. Yeah, one side of the deck to the other. Wow. <laughs> point three of a knot. So that's ten minutes. Ten minutes up, ten minutes back. Plus half an hour for Atlanta to catch up. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? I mean, I think if we have more to do in this area and we're ready to do that, that makes more sense than but trekking up there and trekking back and trekking up there again. How long is it going to take for that? How long, How fast can they go down on that winch with a RAS? Uh, I'm assuming they're going to go down at like 0.6 meters, point around that, meters per minute, or yeah. meters per second. 0.6 meters per second. One knot down. A little over or not? Uh, it'll be down an hour, but I don't know. There's another thing we could do. There's those severed cables that we talked about. Uh, yeah. We can. There's oil, there's connectors on the end. That's whether or not those bread knives that we have can cut through an oily. Huh. That's another job, but that's kind of also low priority. Yeah. Because there's three of them sitting there. Oh, yeah. Want to knife through some cables? Sure. That's legit. Uh, put more junk in our box. And we'll have to drop a weight if we do that. We can give it a go. We're in that we're in that neighborhood. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really make sense taking the hour just to go ream a hole, and that's not even reaming the hole yet. It'll be two hours before we're done that. Okay. And then having to go back later. You can come wide, video. Come on wide. Yeah, if we don't make any gross moves with the ship while we have two wires in the water would be better. I think so, yeah. Like moving south would probably, you know, be okay because that lighter package is going to swing to the north, but I don't know. Being moving north while it goes in the water would probably not be cool. Yeah, no, I agree Which with that. More, it, it, it increases our risk of entanglement if we're moving the boat around. Yeah. Like a 20 meter move is, you know, south. It was kind of when I was, or where, I don't know, 40 meters from where we were. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go into Rogers Pass. You can get there from this side. Or go back to uh, Grotto behind you. And you have to go down in on the uh, east side. Let's see if we can find our beacon. I already see it. Uh, oh no, I don't see it. Oh, you see it. I see it. Why don't I see it? On Herc. Yeah. <clears throat> Straight ahead.
I turned that on to too far. Um, we're going to go look at those severed cables. They're down here. Yep. Just so you know where to start. Hmm. I can't see the camera lights in Herc right now. Or I mean in Atlanta. I can like barely see them. Might be facing the wrong way. I don't know. I think. Do or we're perpendicular to them or <coughs> in a line. With Come the down lights. on the delta. Project. Down in the hole you go. It gets kind of tight down in here on your left and your right. We went through it the other night, I remember. Oh yeah, did you fly under the little thing? I don't know, we flew through it. I don't know. It had walls on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like the connectors he's talking about Those right are the there. cables, yeah. One has got a hydrophone in it, and that's the only good one. So don't cut that one? No, do not cut the one with the <laughs> hydrophone. So there's those, people are asking about those mats, and we put those in two years ago as the cables were stretched around there because there was some hot venting right there. Uh. <laughs> that was a rodeo. Yeah, let's just check out these cables quickly. And just you, We can s actually see the severed ones, and we'll just get a color on those ones so okay. we can <laughs> make sure we cut the ones that are actually severed. There's one of these is still functional. Whatever you do, don't cut the yellow one. I see there, if you look. See one of them just ever done there yet? Yeah, black and white looks gone. Yeah. And then the black and yellow? Is that black and yellow? I don't know, I can't really tell. <laughs> yeah, black and yellow looks gone. Chopped them. <laughs> green, green and, uh, is that green? Is that green? Yeah, green. So green did... Yellow. Did they melt off, or did they? I think they broke. See all this. See how this the last one goes under the rock. Yeah. That's the one that's still working. Wow. Well. The co the one that's okay doesn't have anything. That yeah, one's got no color. Yeah. Where are four cables going there at one point? Go ahead, Jack. Stand by. What's that? Okay. So we got confirmation. Where's that? Um, so it sounds like deck is ready for deployment. So we want to move into position for that, or do we want to continue what we're doing here? I'm happy to have them run it down. It's going to be it take an hour to get down, right? And we're only 40 meters away. So we can move back to the south while we're. Okay. Are you happy with that? Mm. Seems. Derek, I'm happy. With I don't know what. Are you happy with that? No, I don't think they're asking me. <laughs> well, they're putting it over on the north side of us, so if anything drops, it's you know on the other side of the ship. So then all we got to do is move 40 meters southwest to get over the tool basket. Yeah, launch it. Okay, so those connectors are... Oh, never mind. So the connectors are to the south of us? Or to yeah, behind us, north yeah. of us, I guess. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're north of us. Yeah, they're technically also south of us, but the ones we're looking for are these ones. Okay. They used to come up onto Grotto here, right? So, But now they're all below there. Yeah, they're going to come back around where they were severed. And goes against all my instincts is what we're about to do. What's that? Cutting these cables <laughs> makes <laughs> me nervous. <laughs> we're gonna have some fun instead of sitting there whistling Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing is you could still refurbish these connectors. So 
Yeah. Even if the even if the pins are gone. Or like what? 30, 20, 30 grand a pop? When they're yeah, not not quite that much. Like you can buy the blanks without pins or anything. I don't, I forget, but I think it's like under ten. But mm. there you go. there's one. Yep. Let me. I'll go down and talk to him, Lennon. So it's black and white. One of the cuttable ones. Well, I want to go and confirm it again. <laughs> I wrote down black white. Yeah, it's definitely severed, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay. So that's it's nice thing is we even get a parking position back by the looks of things, or that's just an old severed cable that it's plugged into. But let's go just look right here, black, black and white. white. Yeah, okay. that's definitely. Severed. Definitely severed. All right, we're good. Should I go steal Dan's the spot? The crazy thing is one of these cables survived under yeah. all these rocks. Just watch. There might be a hydrophone underneath you, so okay. just bear in mind. I think you're good. Yeah. One of these boulders is a hydrophone coming out from under it. Hmm, so what's the, where's the best place to cut? Right what at the it, end of the connector. Right at the end of the connector? Yeah, anyway, yeah, you want to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of, a little bit of orange. A little bit of orange? Yeah. Yeah, so this is still plugged into the old bars <laughs> <laughs> or something. <laughs> oh, Dan's back. Well, uh... Dan, are you going to have all the fun? I'll try <laughs> one. Um, I checked with my direct supervisor, and he says, we're good. <laughs> Keep working. Nice. It's going to take them 20 minutes just to get all the mess over the side and everything. So, yeah, in position means, like, in the neighborhood. All right. we pick this up and have a look at that? It's really deteriorated, huh? Look at that thing. Yep. I thought those were titanium. <coughs> Can't break it. It's titanium. It's Looks like it's look well... Like it's camouflaging. Well cooked. Oh, I gotta do something with this toilet brush first. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. Still holding the thing. Guardian <laughs> Laviosa. The TVOS. We got the footage you from the camera. Pop open the better? box. No, no, I'm saying that. Oh, we, yeah. Uh -oh. We got some footage of Herc with Sorry, the that's holding me. it. Uh, Moving you. Holding it. It's such a little tool for such a huge vehicle. A so delicate. Brush. How's the footage look? Is it uh, silly? I th we cannot see from here. We are told from shore that it's improved a lot, so. But he's concerned about Herc. How does Herc look with the toilet brush in Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a, a picture of that. Frame it. Tiny yeah, frame it. Put it on the ONC website. <laughs> I'll make sure I do that when I... Or put it on, uh, yeah, post it to the Nautilus Twitter account or some silly <laughs> thing. <laughs> Ah, easy there. Okay, getting close. Oh. Sample dry in. I'm really missing my Danny cam. I'll fix it. But I'm liking this. Uh, backwards. It's totally backwards.
Well, I can't believe how you can get uh, gross it was. Mango out. You know what? Okay. We'll grab it right by the rubber here. She definitely got hot. Yeah. But that could just be dirt d uh, cooked on the outside. That's incredible, yeah. Oh, tempo. The old tempo. The hockey puck survived. Yeah, it could have been that hot. You probably want to come, uh, let's see, where's the... Yeah, can you come up a bit? Uh, three inches from the end of that black is the best place to cut it. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We have those long bread knives somewhere, but I don't know if they're... They're in the front box here. Nice. You'll have to rack back and open up for me. <coughs> rack it back. I have a special toolbox preset. I guess we can build a special sawzall for uh, undersea work. What's that? Oh, I was thinking uh, design they a do. sawzall for undersea. They do have, uh, you know, the like the bandsaw we put on the uh, little cheapo mount? Yeah. The electric the milwaukee one they have a i don't know what that is that makes me nervous though i think we can look up and see that this cable is severed that we can literally pan up so so on nukai we have a set should of be good on this cable we on we'll do something <laughs> more checks on the next one that are literally jaws oh, cool. of life long jaws yeah i've used the jaws of life to cut uh, uh pirelli cables We have some of those hydraulic subsea cutters for the next mooring recoveries. Web tool. Web tool, yeah. Uh, that thing is extremely heavy. Hopefully it cuts it. They're meant to cut steel cables, right? Yeah, they're steel cables, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but this one's particular one wants 3,000 psi, and I don't think the ROV can give that. So, we have tried it with a thousand, and it still cuts. So, hopefully, it works. I think you got it. That's not a good one. That's the one you put in there. <laughs> Are you going to put it on the serving tray? Oh, I didn't know that was an option. Where's the uh, <laughs> the big ONC one? Uh, Probably underneath all those straps. I'm going to rack out and look down quick or something. No, no, let's see if I can. Right there. There's a front. monkey's fist somewhere. A big yellow handle. Oh yeah, it's behind the reamer. Be behind the gas tights, I think. See oh. the yellow handle? Roger. How it got back there, I don't know. In the old days, that was this is super dangerous, but this is fine now. Yeah. It was 3D printed safeties. In theory. <laughs> Any zip ties. There's that knife, spinning knife. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> it's just underneath everything, that's all. It's just, you know, in the worst possible position. I don't know if I can get it out of there without popping the gas lights off of there. What am I hitting? Uh, about everything else in the box. Should be a monkey's fist too that's connected to the end of it. Yeah, that's a giant fun. one. Yeah, it's underneath that gas light, unfortunately. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. That guy. Good 
in the box is made out of UHMW. Yeah, it's been severely brutalized over the years. Good thing you just uh, refinished it, eh? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Danny chucked that whole box up in his CNC and took, uh, what did what you skiz off uh, of it? I took about 50 thou off the top ledge. Got it. Got my little finger on it, at least. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like an IKEA bread knife. It's a uh, it's a Save On Foods bread knife or a Thrifty Foods. <laughs> Those are the ones you get with the stamps. Wonder how long that IKEA knife is gonna sit there on the on the uh, lid. Until I break this one and then try that one. Can you uh, right forward a little and look down and okay. try and set this thing down here? Put it in a hole and grab it. That's what I was doing. I don't think we can look for more evidence that this is the one that's severed. So I think we're good to go. <laughs> Are you nervous, Bob? <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> uh, like if if I could see the severed. Dirk piece wants to see behind. it for the third time. <laughs> Double check the colors. <laughs> no, if I could see the if I could see the severed just behind, like oh, the yeah. magnum, I'd still be nervous. I don't know why. It goes against <laughs> everything. I think there's just broken cable in it, it's fried. <laughs> We've seen the severed three times. Well, if you look at the end connector, it's missing the rest of the cable. Yeah. No, at some point you just have to have some confidence. That's one way to find out. The whole network shuts down when you cut it. <laughs> Herc goes down, what? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. There are some horror stories. But <coughs> ROVs cutting their own tether. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, tilt up a bit for us? So I'm going to be uh, high maintenance here and get two cameras on it. So, uh, all right. This could be a lot harder than what we the thought. Dangle. Uh, you want to center up on it and zoom in a bit now. This is very interesting. Bread knife versus zoom there. oily. Zoom in. What's going to happen? Uh, that's good. I'll tilt up a bit. Uh, one more. This is how Dan plays the violin. Good. I can't believe the, what looks like rust on that oily. So oh, nice. Whoa. Looks like it's working. Like a hot knife through butter. Till it got to the copper. <laughs> then it's a hot knife through. Stranded. 
I don't think I've ever seen a cleaner cut. Not that's there a, yet. That's incredible how well this is working. Just thought I'd throw a jinx in there just because. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pull it apart now. I could probably pull it apart now, yeah. Yeah. That'd be easier than picking it off the ground. I think so. <clears throat> Didn't even uh, see any oil escape. Go wide. Yep, pulling wide. No oil coming out of it. That's crazy. Well, it's severed. Uh, it's been yeah, severed but you think it would have been trapped or Show something. Show me the uh, fletcher there. Right up front of the port somewhere. Oh, let's stick it to the magnet. Needs to be a holster. Just right there. Just it in. I could try and stick it on the magnet, but that could end badly. Does that not make you nervous, Fabio? Watching this? Making me nervous? Kind of close. <laughs> Cutting. It doesn't make me nervous. I can oh. zoom it, well. uh, center up and zoom in on the cut again. Does it make you nervous? Is there? Oh, yeah. This is for the highlight reel. No, yeah, just. You You're know. not cutting any animal. You're cutting like a cable. Yeah, but. <sighs> Oh, there's a blob. Oh, oh wow. Oil. <laughs> wow. Cool blob, eh? Huh? Yeah, Jellyfish? Right. Gonna go right to the wow. camera. Wow. It's one of those. <coughs> I cannot say it. That's not what you're doing. Is the network still online? Yeah. Yeah, we're still <laughs> good? We still have internet? <laughs> Quick zoom there. Yeah, that yep. would be. Well, hopefully, they're very black. They might not be. Looks very black. Cool. Really? That's all they're using? That's it. Cool. All the conductors look black. That's perfect. All right. Um, this, I guess, in the starboard box, eh? Junk drawer. The junk drawer. <laughs> More goodies. These things are delicate. Look at them. <laughs> they're, they've gone rogue, Ed. <laughs> uh, Dan, had, Dan had enough. <laughs> they're on. They're on. I'm gonna open the box for me. Uh. <laughs> uh. I tried. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you have more of these connectors you need to salvage? Uh, yeah. Dibs on the next one. <laughs> if they keep fitting, I mean, they might not. Looks like the Raz is. Can't see more, but. Coming in. Let go of this cable. Uh, before we do anything, let's uh, do a little housekeeping here. So I'm gonna grab that uh, the red knife on the front. I can back. Quick watch change the video. Two seconds. You think by looking at that we could? What's that?
So this is the uh, deep sea version of knife throwing. All right, you want to open the box? Sir? Open the box. Is that enough? Dan's deep sea knife throwing competition. Okay. I'm gonna grab that one before we go to the. Yeah. I'll just pin it on the monkey fist here. Okay. Racking up. Videos on comms. Hello, video. In. Okay, I can let go of this one now. Yep. Uh, you're, you must be locked oh, on yeah. your screen. You'll have to. Anything yeah, overboard yet? <laughs> headset, SPL. Can't hear you. It's on the crane, but oh, they're still go. messing with it. Oh, oh, oh. Just want to have another look at yellow green. It's still on the deck. Yeah. You want uh, me to move that thing out of your way? Or you no, it's back on. I think it's over. There's something over. Yeah. The crane's on the deck. Yeah, that's right. The crane is on the deck, so I don't know. Oh, the oh, unless they tied it off. The instrument's it? over there. Yellow yeah. green. Yeah, they're okay, picking so up. Yellow Anyways. green, can we confirm it's severed there? Severed. Yeah, all right. So let's go down and see if we can find that one. That'll, that'll give Dirk some five minutes of confidence until we I get know. over there. <laughs> get there. <laughs> see, we, we played an evil trick on you. We changed the tape color under the rock. Oh, no. <laughs> you say that, but there is a cable that was labeled it's with two, two different colors. Tape. <laughs> oh, Renny, you're going to be happy. You see the name on the one we just recovered? What was it? Tempo. Oh, great. <laughs> Now is that tempo <laughs> it's the this dog or tempo the <laughs> It's the tempo the other end of the tempo that really frustrates you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm glad to see some resolution there. Yeah, you'd be somewhat happy. Yeah. Alright, so that one is this guy that still works. Oh. Okay. Huh. Huh. Where's the uh That's a that's a hydrophone, so be yeah. careful of the yellow thing. Yeah. That's the one that we found and we saw the connector there and we're like, oh, no ground fault. Well, let's plug something into it, and it was still working. So we left it. Okay, can we see the other connector anywhere? There should be four cables down here, three of which are severed. I think I saw a connector in the in the crevice up there. To the left? The cable I, goes down into I can hole. move that arm out of your way, Jake, if you want to rack out. Are you good? I'm good. Where is it? It was over on the right hand side. On the right hand side? Yeah, it was right where we just bore. It was uh, something orange down in the hole. Mm -hmm. Right where that white and uh, black cable is headed. It should be all the way around here, yeah. Let's try a few different angles and see, but it might just be that we can't get it. Might be fully buried. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the last place we saw it. Audio check one, two, right there. three. It seems like it goes off this four, way. Four, five. Cool. Right, do your cages while we're.